I know, I know. It's a pretty harsh title to accept, but let's talk about this. When we're beginning guitarists, we are in awe of the creation of music and we want to be a part of it, right? We want to be able to play anything we want, create anything we want, understand what we're listening to. And uh, for some reason, all of us, me included, we think that there's uh, this special connection to the heavens, the guitar heavens, where these people uh, pull out these really good songs. And the idea is it's not really like that. I want to explain to you, if you're a beginning guitar player and you want to sound good immediately and you want to impress people and yourself, watch this video. Welcome to another episode of Stitch Method, by the way. <laughs> this is a part of my guitar fundamental series where I talk about how important it is to kind of shape your perspective when learning guitar. All right, so if there is no guitar god, then what is there? Well, there are rules. Now, you're probably like, whoa, 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 Ian, I don't like the sound of this. But the idea is true. Here's an analogy for you. Take baseball, football, and water polo. To play a legitimate, real game of baseball, you can't play it on a football field. Yes, you can play baseball on a football field, but we're talking a legitimate game. You can't play football in a pool, legitimately, like a, a real legitimate football game. And you can't play water polo on a football field. Why? Because there are rules to the games. And in music, there are rules to sounding good. And the more you study those rules and understand how simple it is, in fact, to create the better you get at creating, the better those engines are going to turn and you're going to have this like wave of creativity. So that's what the goal of this video is. So what are the rules? In music, there's mainly two rules. Now, rules are made to be broken. I understand that. Follow these rules first. Okay, so the first rule is that when you're practicing chords, you don't want to practice chords out of those chord books that just have a thousand chords in it, and it starts on A, and then you learn all your A chords, your A major, your A minor, A minor 7, your A major 7, your A9, whatever, and you look at them and you go, okay, great. And then you turn the page and now you're on A sharp chords, and you're like, oh, okay. Then you turn the page and now you're on B chords. It doesn't work like that. Music likes to go together like musical, a musical galaxy in what we call a key. All right, chords within a key are the ones that you want to be practicing. Why? They always sound good together. And also, if you're physically practicing the stuff that always goes together, you're going to be better primed to play the guitar. So let me show you what I mean by this. This is part one, the uh, first ingredient or rule of the game, chords and notes that go together. Now, this is going to reference my video I made last week in Guitar Fundamentals about capo theory, but watch. In the key of C, we have seven chords. I'm going to modify one of them for ease of use. Ease of use? And, and let's talk about that. We have, we have C major, a D minor. Always practice your D minor. It's the most under-practiced chord there is. All right, E minor, F, G. Start G, really. <laughs> a minor. And then um, you would be playing a B minor 7 flat 5. Don't turn it off, but we're going to change that into a G7. And that's absolutely fine. You have these seven chords. Now, you're probably like, hey, that sounded pretty good. Yeah, I know, because they all go together. And where they come from, we don't even have to worry about that. But right now, those are the chords that always go together in the key of C. Now, I'm telling you, I'm probably going to get a copyright strike when I upload this video. Why? Because any time you play a combination of these uh, chords in any order, any order, it's going to always sound good. And it's going to produce a lot of things that sound familiar. As a matter of fact, when you're practicing what you're about to practice, people are going to walk into your room and be like, hey, what song is that? And you're going to be like, I wrote it. And they're going to be like, no, you didn't. And you're going to be like, yeah, no, I did. So let me show you. I'm going to start in any one of those chords. I'll start in the A minor. I'm going to flop around, just play those chords in different orders, and listen to the fact that you get something that sounds good. Was that magic? 
Was that a guitar god coming down? No, that was you playing by rule number one. Music likes to go together in keys. Now, can keys be broken? Of course, but this is a beginner guitar lesson, and don't worry, millions have been made on what I just showed you. And so what you wanna do is you wanna practice chords in a key. I'm gonna show you more chords, uh, more keys in a second, but let's talk about this guy, all right? Music is the combination of notes and rhythm moving through time, all right? And the idea is, that's the sound of music, when you have notes and certain rhythms and they go together and they push through time. And so practicing your rhythm element on acoustic is really important. Now this isn't a rhythm lesson necessarily, but what this is, is a rhythm about how, a lesson about how important rhythm is. So pick a certain rhythm, and right now we're gonna pick just standard what we call eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, all right? But I'll give you some advice. Accent the root note of the chord on the one. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have a C chord now, you gotta learn where these root notes are, but there's my root note, that's a C. So you pluck it for your one. One, two, and three, and four, and like that. And so you're gonna skip over an eighth note. You're not gonna go one and two, you're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and. And now listen, same chord combinations, but all I'm doing is plucking a root note, letting it breathe through one beat, and then doing two and three and four and I'll kind of say it out loud for my first time around so you can hear it. Then I'll shut up. No, I won't. And uh, and you can hear how music is already being born. One, two and three and four and 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 one. The first part of that, I might get a copyright strike because it's a very famous Beatles song. But again, you, now when you're practicing these, hopefully it sounded okay, and I'm gonna do it one more time. You don't have to practice all the chords. You can say, okay, I'm gonna do uh, these three for a little bit, and that's a verse. And then I'm gonna change it to another set of chords, and that's a chorus, you know, and let's see how that works. combination of key chords and a good structured rhythm is going to produce music. And if you're a beginning guitar player and you want to impress people and you want to open your door and have people come in and go, whoa, it sounds good, just practice like this. Why? Because you're practicing how music really, really works. I'm being serious. Now let's do the same thing for a totally different key, a key of D, all right? Love the key of D. I don't have perfect pitch, but whenever I hear a song I love, it's usually in the key of D, so it's telling me something. So let me show you the chords that you would have for the key of D, all right? You have D major, E minor. You have F sharp minor, it's a hard bar chord. If you don't know it, you don't have to use it. G, A, B minor. Now if you wanna do an easy B minor, Again, you can watch my capo theory uh, video from last week, B minor. Uh, and then instead of a C sharp minor seven flat five, you can just play an A seven. All right, so you have D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A, B minor, A seven, back to D. So now I'm gonna pick a good rhythm. I'll make it a little bit more advanced. I'm sorry if you're beyond this point, but if you're, uh, or not beyond this point, but you always wanna work on whatever rhythms you can. So let's see. Random orders, here we go. rhythm, but music is notes and, and, and movement or rhythm moving through time. And there it was. So really quickly, if you want, I'll make, I mean, like the, the chords that go into a key are very, very easy. If you want, I'll make a very easily downloadable chord sheet that you can practice them. Here's the rules. 
There are no guitar gods. There are humans that play music. You are one of them. You can become an artist the more you understand the rules of the game. And music is a game. It's a fun game. And it's a game when you get good at it, you can really, you know, have a great career. You can feel really accomplished from the inside. It's up to you what you want, but this is where it starts. Practice your chords that go in keys and put some rhythm to it. Your left hand will thank you. Your right hand will thank you. Your wife or parents, whoever, always listen to you and go, oh, stop playing, will all of a sudden start thanking you because you are playing in a key and creating. Hopefully you enjoyed this guitar fundamental idea. Uh, if you liked it, please share and subscribe. I will see you guys later on another episode. Take care. Bye-bye.